Hi, I'm Jonathan Sarver. Um, this weekend is, a, is an exciting weekend. Mount Zion's going to have their first uh, outdoor service there on the lawn. And when we were in planning for this, uh, Pastor Jonathan contacted me and because of my experience with the police department and traffic and um, coordinating traffic control and things of that sort, he asked for my assistance. So I've, I've helped with uh, putting together a plan, but we thought it would be important to explain to everybody exactly how the traffic is going to flow on Sunday. And yes, it is going to be a little bit different. And yes, I understand that there, there are people that have their certain parking space and for years and years and years they park in that space. But we, we've got this set up to where we want it to be as, done as safely as possible and follow all the guidelines that the, the conference has set forth. So, and to include the social distancing. Now, when, you come, when we come in on Sunday, service starts at 10, and we, we ask that uh, people, if you would start showing up around 9.30, and we've, we've had a lot of, we've had quite a few volunteers that have volunteered to be our volunteers in the parking lot. So, I thought that it would be helpful, and uh, please forgive me for the drawing, but uh, this is all by memory of many, many years of attending Mount Zion here. Um, this, here's where you have Zion Avenue, and I know I've given people a hard time about driving the wrong way into the entrance over, over time, but uh, this time it's, it's, it's okay because I, I feel like this is going to better serve and once I explain to you the procedures that we're going to be using. We're going to enter, everybody will enter in the first entrance to the parking lot, and, in, and at that entrance is going to be a volunteer and the volunteer he'll greet you and this is important because what he'll tell you is whether or not he'll say you're in phase one or phase two parking and phase one is what we've what we've done in order to so that you can safely park and still maintain social distancing is phase one we will park the cars every other spot so there will not be a car parked beside you. And once we've done all of this, and back over in here, and once all the, the spaces are full, we'll go into phase two. And by that time, we're hoping that everybody that's in phase one has already exited their vehicle and, and, and found their place on the lawn. So that way, we cut down on the, uh, everybody being in close proximity to, together. So important, remember phase one, or phase two. But then what that volunteer will ask you is are you special needs or senior parking, regular parking, or drop-off? Well first we'll talk about special needs and senior parking. What we have what we're planning on doing if you if you are special needs or senior parking this the, right here um, if you're familiar with where the stage was at in a couple homecomings, underneath that big tree out on the front lawn, the stage is going to be there, and the senior and uh, special needs parking is going to be along the grass here, where people can pull in nose first into the grass, and there'll be a, a volunteer specifically for this parking that will direct you. And each spot will be measured out to where there will be six feet in between each car. So that if you wanted to roll down your window, listen to the service, or it's available on a uh, radio station. Available on FM 101.3, or if you want to roll down the window, you could do so and still maintain your distance. So what, and then we'll just continue to park those cars around on the front of the lawn. Now, if you had, uh, that is for senior and special needs. Okay, if you wanted to say drop off, I know people will be bringing chairs and things of that sort. If you say you want to drop off, the drop off point, will, you will go around the front of the circle. The drop off point is going to be in between those two rows of, of bushes. You'll drop your stuff off there, and then once you've dr dropped off your chairs or or uh, people in your vehicle, what you'll need to do is you'll just need to circle back around, and then once you get back up here, 
you'll re-enter the parking lot and just tell them regular parking and then you'll be guided through the parking parking lot and park in the parking lot. But as far as the the drop-off, um, we ask just so that the, the flow of traffic, if it's it's the drop-off is available if 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 needed, if it's if it's something that's a concern of of like parking again next to somebody and the social distancing and things like that sort, like I explained, we're going to be parking every other spot. So, um, but that, that uh, drop-off parking is, uh, the drop-off is available right there. So, okay, I don't want to drop off. I'm not senior. I'm not uh, special needs. I just want to park. So, you'll just tell them. They'll tell you what your phase is. And I, and I always tell people, if, if somebody mentions something a couple times in a, in a presentation, remember your phase, phase one or phase two, because that's going to be important um, at the end of the service. So regular parking, you'll just come here, and the attendants will have fluorescent vests like I have on here, and also a wand, so they'll be easy to, to see. And we ask that, that uh, everybody pay very close attention to your surroundings and and what they're what they're wanting you to do and this attendant regular parking then you'll just come down here and uh, there'll be an attendant there there'll be attendants all throughout the parking lot and they will direct you I'm not going to go into exactly how the, the full extent of it but they'll direct you we'll start filling up we'll start filling up down by the Family Life Center first and then start filling back up through here, 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 and that's phase one. And once phase one is over, this person right here will tell you phase two, and start filling in the spots. Um, At the end of the service, when the pastors go to dismiss, um, one of the concerns that we had is, okay, now we've got a parking lot full of cars. How do we, we put them in every other one, but how do we get them out? and still maintain our safety and our social distancing. So that's where the phase one and phase two come in. So the pastors will say, at this moment, at this time, will everyone in phase one please return to your vehicle and it's end of service. And then we'll wait about 10 minutes, wait to see how, how well it cleans up or how well it clears up. And I know, I know uh, my wife gives me a hard time all the time about wanting to hang out after church and talk to people. My family always looking for me. They have to call me on the phone and say, Dad's up there in front of the church talking. But well, as much as we would love to, we just, just that phase one, get to the car and uh, exit, exit the, uh, and there again, when we're exiting, we will exit out this way. That's why, that's why we change the uh, direction that we're coming in. Because that way, drop-off is going through here, exiting is going out through here. So that way we have no traffic coming back on each other. So that if you have people exiting in phase two, that you're not, not uh, they're not having to walk out into traffic. So we'll wait about ten minutes, and then we'll, we'll release phase two. Um, I'm super excited. Um, I'm, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there. I, 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 we hope to, to, to see... Everybody, um, like I said, it's, it's going to be different. The, the important thing to do, to remember, is it's being done for safety. We have this opportunity to come together and with, with distance, still distancing, but come together and actually see, a, see each other's faces other than through a, 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 a computer screen. So we want to make sure that we'll be able to do this in the future and uh, safety and most importantly, um, like I said, you, it's, it is different. Make sure that you're paying very close attention. Um, be patient. And uh, the attendants will, will, uh, will do whatever they can to assist you in any way that they can. And uh, we hope to see you on Sunday.